today I'm going to be doing the review on the MLT holster for the Sid Sawyer P365, which is my EDC. And MFT stands for Mission First Tactical, for those that don't know. Um, so, I noticed right off that this is a Kydex holster, front and back. And has the clip here, has its initials, MFT. And I'm thinking that the gun is probably going to go in this way to allow it room to go in. And this top part here to probably be facing the front um, so that it'll go in and lock and be kind of snug. And it looks like it's um, one of those ambidextrous um, kind of holsters where you can take the clip off and put it on the other side if need be. You can wear it on the left or the right of you. Um, also, it looks like you can probably adjust the tension on it if you know if you put your gun in and it's scratching up your gun real bad you can just um unscrew this a little bit to release some of that tension not too much because you still want it to lock the gun pretty much you don't want any accidents or any um you know thing like that where you just push it in and bring it out or whatever you still want the gun to be firmly locked into the holster so um just enough where it probably doesn't scratch the gun or you know you're able to pull it out with ease and you know you're not struggling with it because in you know when you're in front of a situation you need to be able to get to your firearm and pull it out as quickly as possible if you need to pull it out so that's what we're going to do right now let me go ahead and get this um situated i wore a belt today so hopefully the belt um will help with the um the belt hoop the no, not belt hoop <laughs> the belt loop <laughs> to keep the holster down now we just need to find out if it's going to be comfortable because you know that's my that's my mantra that's my thing it has to be comfortable for me when i'm walking when i'm sitting because you know, I have to, I have to be comfortable, you know, and you know, I'm working on my midsection here. So, you know, you got to be comfortable while I'm dealing with this midsection. Now, I'm still continuing to get rid of the midsection, but until then, I'm going to carry. So, <laughs> um, let's go ahead and see, get it positioned. And of course, it fits really well. I'm at the three o'clock, of course, um, but I'm already feeling something with this particular um, holster. Now, let's see how it feels with my firearm inserted. And the P365, it is empty. Let's go ahead and get it loaded get it hot now it's ready it's hot it's loaded it's ready okay so now let's put it in the holster you hear that did you hear that okay let's insert it inside the holster again When you hear that click, that means it's locked, it's in there, it's not going anywhere. So it's in here. Now standing up from the last video, if you remember, I'm good with the standing up. This feels great. It feels secure. I feel just totally awesome with it right now, okay? Um, but we'll, we'll find out how it feels once I sit. So... Let's see how it does when you go to pull it out. No problem. So the tension on this already seemed to be, for me, it seemed like it's already set to the right module that I needed to be set. Um, I don't think I need to tighten it or loosen it anymore. I think it's set just right. 
no issues. But the issue I just saw, I pull it out. The shirt may be in the way. The shirt did get in the way earlier. And when I went to put it back in, it pulled the shirt back down into the holster. And that's not what you want. So maybe I'm wearing the wrong shirt for this particular holster. Or maybe I need to have on a looser belt or looser jeans. But that's something that you're going to have to be mindful of. When you feel that shirt going into that holster, you need to readjust it. Pull that shirt out the way. Pull that, put that firearm in that holster. Make sure that the click is, you hear the click, and then bring the shirt back over into, you know, over your firearm. So that's something that, you know, that I may need to work on, you know, with me being a beginner. But at the same time, I try to notice every little quirk and every little thing and try to make adjustments as needed. Um... With this particular shirt, you see the budge. So you can tell clearly that I am carrying with this particular shirt on. There is a budge. Now, if I had on a bigger shirt, you probably wouldn't be able to tell. Um, but you do see, you see something's going on here. You see a protrusion with this type of shirt. This is like your regular polyester shirt that you probably get at Walmart, Target, whatever. But with these type of shirts, you know, they show everything. Every nook and cranny pretty much of your body. They show everything. So this this may have been the wrong um, outfit gear. This may have been the wrong gear for me to choose if I was going to care. Uh, Cause you definitely want to cover it up. You you don't you don't want it to be seen, but you can tell that it's showing through this particular shirt. Um, let's see how it does when I sit down. Get my healthy little chair here. It's not comfortable. The bottom of the holster is pressing on the area in between my hip and my thigh and that hurts <laughs> and of course the top of my gun the top of my firearm is still poking me in the stomach so as much as i like this mlt holster it is not loving me back i should say um, and it's not the holster. The holster seems like it does well. It's just my body type. And, again, I want something comfortable. Now, standing up, it feels great. But, right in this area, I feel the bottom of the holster. So, you know, at the bottom of the holster, my muzzle is there also. So, I feel that right in this area, right here, as I sit. I feel it right here. The bottom of it is here. So, that's why I said I'm on, the, I'm on the quest to find something that's comfortable. Something that I can wear for the here and now. Um, when I lose the weight, then yes, I probably can carry it. And, 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 and you know, wear this particular holster and everything will be hokadori and fine. But until then, I need something. See, like I'm, I'm doing this. I even feel like... Some is like pinching me, even when I lift this this knee up to put it on the chair. So I'm trying to find something that is um, comfortable and appropriate for the heavier woman, the curvaceous woman. Um, and people say, well, you know, you're going to have the, the pain anyway, um, you know, until you drop a little weight. No, you shouldn't have the pain. Um, we, we should be able to... Uh, find a holster that we can wear and not have to deal with all this sticking and poking and oh no that there, there should be a holster out there and I'm gonna find one um something that is comfortable something that I can uh, wear and not have any issues with it poking me and sticking me and hurting and all that 
and maybe it's the and maybe i don't know like i said maybe it's the um well it is the fact that i'm you know dealing with a little menopause but at the same time you get my point that should be something out there that i possibly can wear you know for you know to carry and conceal because i'm still going to do that even though i'm dealing with my muffin top i'm not going to stop carrying because i'm dealing with a muffin top so you get my point but um yes i'm feeling it poking here and that's not gonna work um like i said the mft holster is a pretty good holster but for me and my body type at this moment in my in, in this moment in my time i cannot wear this like this um and another thing i noticed too is see this gun already has my sweat on it, y'all. You know what? I'm not going to even lie to y'all. This gun already has my perspiration on it from my stomach sitting on it. You know, see, 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 you, you see, what I'm, see what I'm talking about. Okay. Uh, but another thing I noticed, because I did mention earlier that you can release the tension on it. Sometimes when you buy these hoses and you stick your weapon inside, um sometimes it, it scratches up the slide so that's something that you may want to look at um it's something that you may want to be mindful of too because these firearms some of them um cost a lot so it's an it's an investment for you so whatever you need to do to in, to protect your investment you do that and scratching up my slide is not what i want to do to my investment <laughs> so um yeah so that's something that you may want to look at and what i mean by scratching scratching up the holes i don't know if you guys can see that but there are some scratches there i'm not saying the mlt caused that because i've had this gun for a while and been having it going in and out of different holsters and different things but those are the those are some of the signs and things some of the wear and tear of the gun that you will see you know and some of it come from holsters some of it just come from other things as well so you know but yeah i saw them on my press for my sweat and perspiration all on this gun see but when you going through menopause you have high flashes you know so that's something that you know you may want to keep in mind um as you choose a holster it's scratching up your slide and but like i said the mft the this kydex holster it's a pretty good holster, but it's just not the one for me and what I'm dealing with. Perspiration, sorry. <laughs> it's just not for me for what I'm dealing with at this moment. Um, but it is a good holster. It shows you on the back. I didn't see this before. It shows you on the back the four popular carrier positions. Um... So it shows you how it's supposed to go. See, you can even wear it outside the waistband. But 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 because I'm trying to conceal when I had it on the inside, you saw it protruding out of my shirt. So me wearing it on the outside, you definitely would know that I'm carrying at that point. So um yeah. So, like again, really good holster. But at this moment in my life, I'm looking for a holster that I comfortably can wear and sit down in. And, um, and something that is going to still give me that protection and that security that I look for when carrying my weapon. Um... But again, it's a great holster. So that's all that I have for now. Like, share, comment. Um, 
on this video subscribe to my channel this is kyla monarch coming to you talking about these holsters and my quest is not done yet stay tuned i will be back with another video to try to find the uh, uh, a holster that will fit me <laughs> and um give me something that's gonna be comfortable and at this moment in time you know because i need something um so until the next video i will see you soon thank you bye bye